Good morning, students. Today, we're going to be talking about insulators and conductors. Yes, and their ability to transfer or not transfer heat, thermal energy. So it might get a little bit chilly in here, or it might get a little too hot, but we're gonna have a lot of fun learning. Here we go. Conductors and insulators. The original source of all thermal heat energy on Earth is the sun. Other sources of heat energy include a fire, the human body, a stove, and a microwave. Conductors and insulators. Hmm, how can I explain this? Oh, like a fast flowing river. A fast flowing river is similar to a conductor because the water flows easily. A conductor, on the other hand, allows heat to pass through quickly and easily. So just like the river allows water to pass through easily, a conductor allows heat to pass through quickly and easily. A dam is like an insulator because it does not allow water to pass through quickly. An insulator does not allow heat to pass through easily either. So a conductor allows heat to pass through quickly and easily, and an insulator does not allow heat to pass through easily. Conduction. Conduction is the movement of heat between objects touching one another. So on that cookie sheet over there, those chocolate chip cookies that are gonna be baking here shortly in the oven are going to feel the heat from that cookie sheet and start to smell so good and taste so good once they are cooked. A cookie sheet, metal pot, and pan are examples of conductors. An object that allows heat energy to flow freely through it is called a conductor. Examples of conductors include aluminum foil, copper wire, steel, glass, and silverware. When do people use conductors of heat? Hmm. Of course, when they're cooking food. Oh, that looks really good. And when they're boiling water. <laughs> good job. Can you think of more uses? I know whenever I curl my hair, I use a curling iron. A curling iron is a conductor of heat as well. Insulators. An object that does not allow heat energy to flow freely through it is called an insulator. Examples of insulators include plastic, wood, rubber, cloth, and paper. <laughs> that big coat I'm wearing surely does not allow heat energy to flow freely through it. It keeps it inside my coat, keeping me warm. So when do people use insulators of heat? We've already said coats and jackets. Oh, an ice chest. We use an ice chest a lot when we go to the lake. And of course, oven mitts. I wouldn't want to take those chocolate chip cookies out of the oven without an oven mitt. Otherwise, I would burn my hand. Ouch. Insulators. Did you know animals are insulators? <laughs> well, some animals use stored fat to insulate their bodies during the winter months, like bears. Animal fur also makes a great insulator. Here's me in my coonskin cap. That's pretty cool. And it definitely kept me warm during the winter months in Alaska. Is it an insulator or a conductor? Are the items below an insulator or conductor? Let's look at this and let's make our predictions. First off, socks. Are socks an insulator or a conductor? Hmm. I usually put socks on to keep my feet warm. So that means they are an insulator. Good job. What about a kettle? Hmm, you put water in a kettle to warm up the water. So a transfer of heat is taking place. That kettle must be a conductor. <laughs> Good job. What about a baking dish? Hmm. My mom makes lasagna in that. So there is a transfer of heat. That means it is a conductor. A pot. Hmm, that reminds me of the shrimp boil we had this past weekend. Oh, it was so good. So that pot involves cooking and heating. 
That means that pot is a conductor. You got it right. Huh, what about a scarf? I usually put those around my neck when it's cold outside so I can stay warm. That means that scarf is an insulator. And then we have that cute little yak. A yak's fur helps to keep it warm. Ah, that can only mean one thing. Its fur is an insulator. Good job. You did a great job. You know the difference between insulators and conductors. Insulators, those that do not allow the transfer of heat easily. And conductors, those that do allow the transfer of heat easily. Great job. Until next time.